Where is Moon? Queen Moon went through a lot during season 3 finale, and now we don't even know where she is. Having been transported by Star's Unicorn, and given the vast number of dimensions in the show's universe, Moon could be anywhere, and without her memory. We've got some ideas as to where. In what might be an ironic sense of justice, Moon could be living with the monsters, wherever that might be. Despite Moon's positive meeting with Buff Frog, it's still not completely clear where she stands on her feelings about monsters. Sally, Monster's departure from Muni suggests that nothing was being done to improve these relations, despite Star's efforts. It would be nice to see Moon connect with them on a deeper level and help ensure the peace between humans and monsters that the show seems to be steering towards. However, Buff Frog would likely do what he could to help her recover her memory and get her home, so it is unlikely she'd be there for long before Star came to get her. Her lost memory could be a major problem this season as well. Another possibility, an extremely unlikely though highly amusing one, is that she could be with Ludo. In the season 2 finale, we saw Moon make a small connection with Ludo when discussing his family. Unfortunately, Toffee's interference prevented anything that could have come from it. Given Ludo's current uh, state of mind, it's not really certain what his future goals are. Ludo is likely trying to figure out where to go from his current situation. Should he continue to try and steal the wand, or should he pursue something else? Ultimately, should he continue to be bad? A memory loss moon would be a good foil to Ludo, and while providing a few laughs, it could also provide Ludo a chance to open his mind to the possibility of being good. As the series' original villain, Ludo seems due for redemption, and this could be it. Our last possibility goes back to an issue some of us have had since the episode Moon the Undaunted. Since Moon's mother, Queen Comet, was killed by Toffee, we have to assume that she still had a father. I mean, various kinds of families aside, Moon has to have a father. And he was oddly absent at a time you think she would need or want him around. It really makes us wonder where he's been this whole time, or what the relationship between him, Moon, and even Star has been like. Moon could be in the care of her father, wherever that may be. Star meeting or seeing him again could be good for Star, and not just because she gets her mom back. Given recent revelations about the Butterfly family and the question of who the legitimate ruler of Muni is, Star seems to be feeling a great deal of shame about her family. Meeting another relative, seeing another side of her family, and learning more about where she comes from could be a way for Star to come to terms with this issue. Sure, where you come from is part of who you are, but who you are is also who you choose to be. Star has proven to be capable of great things before, so why should anything be different moving forward? Also, the issue of who should rule Muni may not be about who deserves it, but who is most capable. Of course, that will be Star's choice to make. But what do you think? Where do you think Moon is? Do you think she could be in one of these scenarios, or maybe something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and check out the Star vs. the Forces of Evil Amino. As always, thanks for watching and don't let the hiatus get you down. We'll get through it.